Hey everybody, Keith Wilson at the Trombone Trap at Schmidt Music here, back with another Trombone Trap quick take. So I've been talking for about the last six months or so about the Malacious mouthpieces. So as a quick refresher, uh, Bill Malacious is a custom mouthpiece maker and um, valve maker here in the Twin Cities. And he's been making custom mouthpieces for a lot of years. We started uh, talking with him a couple years ago about developing a whole line of mouthpieces. Um, and I'm so excited, we actually have a full inventory of his mouthpieces in stock you know, a whole wide variety of sizes. And so I was going through and doing a quick playthrough on a couple of mouthpieces and I was liking them so much, I said, boy, I should do a quick video here. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of playing on one of his bass pieces, uh, specifically his 2G. I know, I know it's a little bit small for a lot of bass players. I'm primarily a tenor player. The 2G is something I can pick up and it just worked for me right away. If I really wanna get into a bass piece, I really have to spend a couple of weeks really kind of working my way back into it. So yes, I'm listening out a little bit. That's okay, so this is his 2G, and I'm gonna be comparing it against a standard Bach 2G. So for me, I, I notice a real difference right away. I feel like there's a lot more body to the sound. Um, the response is it locks in place a little bit more. It's in a way, it's a little bit, no, I wouldn't say slower, it's a little more deliberate. I think than the Bach, it has a little bit different weight to it. Uh, one of the things I noticed in the upper range is that the A's above the staff consistently felt more in tune. With the Bach, I felt like I had to push a little bit more and it felt like they were always singing a little bit on the low side with the 
uh, malicious, I felt like I was able to keep it a little bit more open and they just locked in place in tune a little bit more there. So just my quick two cents there. Obviously, as always, let me know what you think about what you heard between the two in the comments. If you have any questions about the malicious mouthpieces, please let me know. Um, if you like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, I appreciate you thinking about doing so there. And you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thanks for watching, everybody.